This is Dr. Jonathan Franz from Fort Myers, Florida, discussing the successful management of the white cataract. This is a patient that had hand motion division preoperatively, had had a cataract for many years. Wound construction is still critical to making sure that these cases do well, especially with the fluidic balance that is needed. Vision blue, critical to stain the capsule so that you can adequately perform a capsular access. I like to aspirate the vision blue from the anterior chamber and then instill Helon 5 to make sure that I've got adequate chamber maintenance. Sometimes in these cases there can be liquid cortex which can make capsular excess extremely challenging and Helon 5 seems to help us prevent some of the complications like radial tears or tear outs and other types of things. So we're very careful and judicious about this because in general a capsular excess like this there is more of a tendency for the capsule to want to tear peripherally and it's very important to make sure that you are slow and controlled to make sure that this part of the procedure is done perfectly. So now you can see we've got a beautiful capsular excess. We've emulsified and sculpted down in the lens and this very dense lens still was able to be cracked. I will subsequently aspirate the lens into the center of the anterior chamber and in so doing that allows me to emulsify the lens well away from the cornea but also in a safe zone so it's well posterior in the posterior chamber and that results in less energy uh, transmitted to the endothelium and of course a safer procedure for the second half of the lens I will emulsify this and chop it as necessary so that I can create smaller pieces of lens fragments that are easier to manage and manipulate. And so here you can see some chopping that's going on and you'll see more chopping that's going on. Again, this is all taking place in the posterior chamber, well away from the cornea, but also in a safe zone uh, and protecting the posterior capsule utilizing the second instrument. And so ongoing fake emulsification takes place here making sure that we're careful to keep the lens in a safe place so that the lens can ultimately be completely emulsified. So once the lens has been emulsified, there is usually a minimal amount of cortical material that's left inside the capsular bag and that's usually relatively easy to remove the small amounts of cortex since the, the majority of this was lens nucleus which has been previously emulsified. Viscoelastic is instilled and then the posterior chamber lens is placed and it's positioned within the capsular bag. So this is the successful management of a white cataract. Thank you for watching.